I don't know what I'm gonna do in Russia. I think I'm gonna fail. She's like, fail? No. Fail, no, fail, which no, part? Fail, <laughs> fail in, a, in our vocabulary. <laughs> That's not gonna work. We've been preparing for this now for two years. You're gonna pass, you're gonna do well. You Most know the stuff. Way. And it's just constant motivation and encouragement. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to another Russian episode. Today I'm on the road again. I'm not in country. I'm in Kingston and I'm actually here at Pepplewood having a lunch, a late lunch, right? And I decided I see a lot of you asking for me to do a day in the life of Russian. Um, the day almost done still because it's after three. But I'm gonna my life is not very exciting all the time, so there's not a lot to show, but I'll show what I'm going to show for today. Right now I'm having soup, so I'm having pumpkin chicken soup, I don't think you can see. So pumpkin chicken soup, and it's actually a jerk pit, so I'm having jerk chicken, Jamaican jerk chicken and fries. So let me show you how jerk chicken looking like. I'm gonna open it yet because usually when we come in now, I have to bust the gas first so you drink soup and then you start on the chicken. So it usually comes in a foil paper like this and then I usually get leg and thigh. So this is what it looks like. Yeah. But I'm not ready for that yet. So I'm gonna continue to drink the soup. And I guess this can be like a little mukbang. And this is pumpkin soup with chicken so one of the reasons why i decided to vlog today was also because i'm here at pepperwood as i said before and i'm waiting on a special someone right and i wanted to showcase a little bit of it on camera this someone is a young man that i've mentored for about three or four maybe five years now um some of his high school life is after high school life We've been working together and we've developed a good friendship, a good bond. He's like a little brother to me. And he's just a good kid, you know. I admire his humility, I admire his work ethic, I admire so much about him. And his story is one that's inspiring and it's something that I'll share with you guys one day. But for now, um, I'll introduce you guys to him a little bit. And he also called me earlier to tell me that he has something to give me. He has a gift to give me. I don't know what it is, right? But I'm sure it's gonna be something special. So I'm gonna send him a vlog it and show you guys. And then you guys can hear a little more and learn a little more about that whole process. There's a lot of things that I do in life that I don't really talk about. And a lot of people I help that I also don't really talk about. I mean, I feel like if you're helping, just do it willingly. So I'm only really vlogging this because he wanted to give me a gift and he wanted me to capture it on camera. So, to give you guys a little bit of background, right? So, he's on the way. And in the meantime, I'm having my chicken soup and my jerk chicken. So, as soon as he arrives, you guys will see. His, his name, his name is Junior. But his nickname is Eddie. So, I call him Eddie. And surprisingly, or coincidentally, my little brother's name is Junior as well. So, it all worked out. He's calling me right now. Hello? So, he's here. He's outside. He's about to come in and I'm going to turn the camera to him as he comes in. Um, and we'll see how he goes. So for those of you that are new here, welcome. I'm Rushalyn. This channel is Rushalyn. Um, it's a lifestyle channel. Um, welcome. And for those of you that are returning, welcome as well. And thank you all for being here. I hope you've all clicked the subscribe button. I hope you've left a comment in the comment section below. And I hope that you'll share this video with all of your friends. Alright? So let's definitely get into this video. He's coming guys, look. This 
is Eddie. Oh my god, you have a bag and everything. Oh my god! Let me put I need to put that on. Saturday, Sunday. My day off? Yeah, wait, Monday to Friday. Oh. When I have the, the nice flexible shift like you have day off in the middle of the week. <laughs> you know what? So, there you go. so this is for me? Yeah, this is all for you. Oh my god, you're making me smile. I have a whole big bag, guys. Thank you. So come around here so I can light this to this side. So I got this bag guys from Eddie. So tell me now what's the purpose why you decided to give me the gift. Wait, well forget your face in there. Well guys, Russia. Can I take off the mask a little bit so they can hear you? Okay. I'll go over some social distance. <laughs> so why tell me why you decide before I even look at the gift, why you decide to give me this gift? Well, it's all because, you know, I've, I've been like, By the way guys, I don't know what he's about to say. This is not rehearsed or nothing. <laughs> this is all surprising to me too. But go on. <laughs> well, Rachel has been very nice. Like, very nice from ever since the day I met her. Like, Alright, let me tell you a little story about how we met. So, it was in 20, 2016, 2017? 2016. So, basically, it was before CXT. When did you do CXT again? 2017. Mm. So, 2016. Yeah, that's 2016. Mm -hmm. Around um, the last part of the year, after September and everything, you know, we get all modules and all of that. He's so, talking about CXT. <coughs> so, basically, I had no idea what to do for my SB, nothing. I was like so blank. I asked all of my friends what to do. How to go about it all they did was give me a copy of their SB and all of that so this one very one day I saw I know you guys know Raquel I saw Raquel and I said Raquel you know I need help with my SB who can who can help me I have Rocky that's her her son her son right and she said um she don't think Rocky would be able to help but shark <laughs> so she said short and I was like shorty yes I'm shorty <laughs> I'm Russian I'm shorty I'm everything yeah but that's the very same night she was at the barber shop which was next door Raquel's shop or you can say Raquel's shop mm -hmm. and I went over there and I saw her I was so shy hi how are you doing any you good um, where was I yeah so I went in the barber shop and she's this nice thing getting eyebrows done and all of that but no. I was so shy I was like um oh my god what am i supposed to say like how am i supposed to approach a person like this and but i just what do you mean a person point? like this because you know the, the you know no you're, no you're a person where you know i have to respect you when i'm approaching you the first time you know but basically um at that at those times i didn't like know very much about to like talk to people okay so, um still not a man of words but yeah, I went to her and it was like a warm welcome. I was like so surprised. And then she said I was to come down the house and she's gonna help me. And guys, she could be a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she could be a teacher. I taught you. I was a teacher. Like, my teachers did not make it as easy as she did for me. So, she could have been a teacher, guys. And it was, it was definitely marvelous. Everything was just nice I really appreciated it like the help the encouragement the motivation everything it just helped me sometimes I'll be like um like around May June when it's CFC time I'll be like I don't know what I'm gonna do in Russia I think I'm gonna fail she's like fail no fail fail with fail. far fail in the Ufa book <laughs> I remember um weeks before the exam he was like no I'm gonna take me a pass I'm gonna go pass I'm gonna say eh, eh. 
say Lena in our vocabulary. <laughs> That's not gonna work. We've been preparing for this now for two years. You're gonna pass, you're gonna do well. You Most know the stuff. Right? And it's just constant motivation and encouragement. And he was appreciative and very receptive. And what I admired about him is that, you know, some people don't take telling, him take telling. You know, you can talk to him if you make a mistake, you can correct him, he don't feel no way, try again, him come again, you know, give him homework, him. Yeah, so I, I appreciate and admire that about him. And yes, I was teaching CXC math. I was teaching a few students with math, right? But we did more than math, we did math, English, Accounts, everything really, everything, everything, everything. IT. Yeah, with all the SBS, all the subjects, yeah. everything, anything that he would need, um, he would come to me and talk to me and we work it out, we figure it out, we find a way and tell him about it, CXC results now. So, after every CXC exam I came home, Rochelle was like, how was it? I was like, um, sometimes I was like, why it mashed me up? <laughs> but like, at the same time, I felt like I did good, but you know, I didn't want to set the expectation that I did good and then <laughs> and when I said this. <laughs> but when the results came out, when the results came out, I was not even the first one who said my friend checked it for me because um, the very same night the server was really slow. You know, that's all. Oh, the works. server? Yeah, because mm -hmm. a lot of people is on the server. So it's very hard to pull it up. So, um, day after, right? I was I was at sleep. I was I think I was sleeping. I, I slept very late, and my friend came and said, "Cause my name is Eddie." He said, "Eddie, Eddie, Eddie." I was like, "Who's that in the morning?" I'm like, "Really?" Yeah. I went outside and I saw him, and he said, "Well, I'm wish me to get your pass. Then wish wish me to get your pass. Then come." They see people from the day before. <laughs> so here, I wish me. I saw me the door. I said, "What do you mean? Look, three ones." Poor tools, messy, no man. <laughs> yeah, he passed I was, I all was, of them. All of them. And all I'm them. so proud of you. So proud. I've been so proud of you. I remember when we just started, and he was like, I'm not past nothing. I'm <laughs> not bright. I'm not smart. I'm not this. All kind of negative. And we, have to, we, we had to get rid of all of that. And we did. Yeah. So no negative thinking, no negativity, it's just all positive. So I'm lucky yeah. it worked out for you. Yeah, for real. It was, it was definitely good. It was a journey. Yes, definitely it a definitely journey. journey. And I remember even with the account SBA, mm -hmm. and because he had friends that would give him like a previous paper for him to copy. Mm -hmm. And I was explaining to him that, listen, the only way, the only way you're going to pass the exam is by doing the SBA yourself. Like I'll help you and guide you and show you what to do but not until you've done the SBA you won't pass it because you get back on the exam you get exactly what's what on the on SBA, SBA yeah. and the SBA is supposed to be where you you do the, the work you bring it in for your teacher to correct you where you make a mistake you show you you come back you, you adjust you correct so that by the time the exam comes you are fully aware with how to do it. Yeah. You know, even if I don't remember the mark for the process and the steps, not necessarily and the, the correct answer. Of so, so that's good. So you did it. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, man. I got to clap myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but guys, trust me. You see this woman right here, like. She's very respectable. I really appreciate her. Like to the moon and back. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> I know sometimes, like you may feel like I don't remember her, but I don't know. It's just like sometimes I don't know what is sometimes. If you understand what I'm saying, you no. said I must like check up sometimes. I don't like. I'll, more. Yeah, but I don't know. Sometimes I'll call you now and. Next three months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> pop in, pop up. I'm saying, hey, well, hon. You can't call me. <laughs> you can't say, hi, hello, how do you do? But, but it's, not, understand. it's not understand really. Understand yeah, it's just basically, I don't know. Sometimes it's with everybody. Like my sisters, too. Sometimes my sisters, like, they say if they don't call me, I don't call them. So we have to change that. It's really bad. <laughs> Really bad. Like I'm always find other things to do before I try to check up on people. I'm really, I'm really good about myself. Alright, so we're gonna change that. Yeah, we're gonna change that.
<laughs> well, so as for the gift, so you said the reason for the gift is yeah. to show your appreciation. So before I even open it, I want to say thank you. Oh, you're most welcome. And I'm so proud of you. Aww. I want to know that I love you a lot. And you always have someone in your corner. Awesome. So, watch out. it, guys. <laughs> Wrapping paper. And it's one hour. You. I still get motivation from you even after all this time because the memories come back when I think of my achievement. I'm where I'm at in life today as a result of your teaching and inspiration. I just want you to know that I will always appreciate you and the time you spent helping me. Thank you, Rushalyn Mahalo. What's a Mahalo? You gotta Google it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to Google it myself. Cute, all a rushing on it. I'm gonna put this on my dresser. This is so nice. Thank you. Oh, it's Corona. I can't hug her. M A H A L A. Mahala. It's a footballer. Mahalo. Oh, it's a O. M A H A L O. Mahalo. It's a footballer. No. <laughs> Imma teach me something <laughs> that's so incredibly cute. Express what gratitude. Mahalo for your support. There's mainly in Hawaii. Oh so an expression of gratitude. So you tell me thank you. Ah, in Hawaii. Ah, so mahalo is thank you in mahalo. Hawaiian. Yeah. Yeah, You're so that. sweet. <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> means thanks, gratitude, admiration, praise, esteem, regards, or respect. All of that. <laughs> uh, I'm, usually, I'm usually the one gifting people. And now I'm getting a gift. Alright, so I'm opening the next one now. Mm -hmm. No idea, you met my week. <laughs> you met my month. You met my 2020. <laughs> it's another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I stole it. <laughs> That's so sweet. I know it's Corona time. I wanna forget to turn my head this way, but thank you. Thank you so much. You're oh most my welcome. Oh gosh, I'm gonna. You're most welcome. It's all for you. Like um, you deserve it. So. Like, I was so anxious to see the reaction. Like, I know because you've been saying, Oh, I want to see you. When are you off? Thursday, to when on Thursday, my day off. Are you gonna be off? I mean, I said, Well, uh, you know, like, yeah, but I want to come. And, uh, you're so sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. Gladys Knight. And guys, it's a pleasure to be on the channel. I know this is my first time. <laughs> yeah, he'll be back. You'll 
see more of Eddie. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> now I can't go eat my food. <laughs> no, I feel good. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. It's definitely good to know that you feel good as well. Like. You're ready at all. <laughs> <laughs> It's, 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 it's a customer service. It's a customer right? service, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Alright, I'm still come back. I'm still come back. <laughs> grandmother but it's it's a lot of traffic on the road and it's getting late so it don't really make sense but you guys saw just now you know eddie basically surprised me with that gift and it meant so much to me and i keep saying over and over that he's really a good kid you know when i started working with eddie he was you know very i wouldn't say pessimistic is a strong word but not very optimistic about his future not very optimistic about finishing high school about doing well in life or doing well in school and all of that and it took a lot of motivation and a lot of reinforcement and reassurance to get him to that point to start believing in himself you know and i said this to say that sometimes you see people out there and you don't know what they're struggling with internally and some persons are blessed to be self-motivated others aren't so if you have somebody around in your corner somebody a family member friend whatever sometimes rather than saying something negative to them try and encourage them to the better especially if they are not doing so well just keep encouraging them to the better keep reinforcing positivity keep you know just keep doing that just like a child when you have a, a little child and them um, keep touching something with them not for touch you just have to keep telling them not to do it keep doing it keep doing it keep messing with them not here but keep at it it's the same way sometimes some people just need some reassurance some people just need some encouragement some motivation somebody to help push them because me tell you when it is start him never it was it was you know and i'm just and i'm just so happy and so proud of you know the, the progress that has made and sometimes too some people all some people need you know it's just a little exposure and a little encouragement and I tried to give him as much exposure as I could with the liquor what me have, you know. So sometimes, you know, if you can help somebody, help them. It not even especially when it not really costs you much. It may cost you time, yeah. But or some in some cases financially. But if you can help, help somebody. If you're in a position to help, help somebody. I mean the blessings will come back to you tenfold. Not that you're looking for it, but you know it will but it does help and and especially knowing at this time where people are going through different things people are suffering with different things if somebody are going through something never bash them don't judge them don't discourage them just help them in any way you can rather by giving them a positive word rather by giving them some encouragement and just being there for them being that support you know so that's my charge to you and I hope you take away what I'm trying to dish out to you right now you know so 
thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video was helpful impactful encouraging inspiring in some way shape or form and i hope that you're encouraged to help somebody else I hope that you're encouraged to help someone if you can, you know, rather than be negative, you know, just help somebody. Give them a kind word, a nice smile, a helping hand. You know, I do a good deed. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, right? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, remember to like the video. If you like the video, press the like button. It definitely helps me with the algorithm when you guys click like when you guys subscribe when you share it you know what i mean i keep saying this every video but i don't think you some of you understand um, the importance of doing these things when we as youtubers ask you to do it so i'm telling you that it really helps us out so please help us out as we help you by providing these videos so like comment share subscribe follow me on my instagram and twitter page it's at rushalin and I just want to say thank you, big up on yourself, walk good, and remember to be you and only you.